You're listening to the Daily Sales Tips Podcast, and I'm your host, Scott Ingram. Today's tip comes in the form of a clip from my latest interview on the Sales Success Stories podcast with Pascal Kaldenbach. Pascal is a consistent top performer who's currently over 200% of his number while leading a team of 10 who are collectively crushing their numbers at the same time. Here's just a taste of that conversation. I would rephrase it. Our winners club, so we have a winners club in the company, will go to the Maldives, Maldives this year, if you know them, like the island. Yeah, yeah. I'm driving an Audi A7, which was my dream car always. I'm living in a nice house and I have the possibility to do holidays or vacation four times a year. And most important for me, I'm happy and content to wake up every day, including Mondays. So seriously, Scott, I'm not even 30 yet, but I'm already living my dream. So I would never, ever do something different. <laughs> but to answer your question more seriously, I would stop wasting too much time on trainers and gurus to find the hidden secret, you know? So when I started to do things like the same way every day, I thought like, you know, there need to be some secret. So I was trying to have the best email written with the best wording and send it out to the customer at the best timing. So I was reading a lot of, you know, studies, which is the best opening time for emails or how do you write the best emails? And I was spending a lot of times on my, on my slide deck. And from an information diet, I was reading books from trainers and gurus who told you like, just do twice as much as you do now and you will be successful, right? No pain, no gain. Do 100 calls per day, do 200 calls per day, just do more, just be better. And I would really not recommend to do any kind of this one. <laughs> so what I mean by that is I would, be more clear about my information diet because you need to understand there is no hidden secret in sales, right? Sales is basically get the things done you need to do, listen to the customer, understand the customer, understand the processes, and then just push through it, right? So in the, in the past seven years, I'm in the company. I never ever had this magic moment where I was you know, standing in the front of 10 managers and I had the best slide deck and the best rhetoric skills and they were just standing up and clapping because of my outstanding performance. This is not how sales is working, right? So sales is done in the background by sitting down, do your homework, understand the requirements of a customer and put the customer into your centric of your daily business, right? So this is something I would definitely do different today. Be more careful and be more recognized about my information diet. Obviously, we will get to this topic a little bit later as well. So I can spend some comments on this one. I'm in the happy situation that I already mentioned. I onboard our new colleagues and I train them up as well. So I have the possibility to do things different, not for myself, but for them. And the first task everybody gets in my team is basically they need to listen right so every time a new colleague comes into our company they're basically just talking 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 how great they are how great their performance is and how great everything is and they talk and talk and i basically tell them you yeah, know please be quiet and try to understand the importance of listening and i tell them in every conversation you will have in the next two weeks, try to be as silent as possible and try to keep the conversation as long and valuable as possible. What I mean by that is it's basically what we are doing, Scott, right now. Just sit down, listen to somebody actively and then ask a nice and really good follow-up question like you do always, Scott and just keep the conversation going right and you will see how things suddenly change because people start to give you some insights they will start to complain about things so you really get into their point of view and this will help you to work together with them 
to get them to the solution they are looking for. For the full interview, check out episode 127 of the Sales Success Stories podcast. And of course, we've got a link for you at dailysales.tips forward slash 963 as well. Once you've done that, be sure to come back tomorrow for another great sales tip. Thanks for listening. (laughs) 